In this video, we're going to look at constructing accurate triangles using a ruler, compass and protractor. We're going to look at three different types of construction. The first one, we're going to construct a triangle given two angles on one side. The second one, we're going to construct a triangle given two sides and an enclosed angle. And then finally, we're going to construct a triangle given three side lengths. So let's start off with the first one. We're asked to construct triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 8 centimetres, angle A is equal to 40 degrees, and angle B is equal to 55 degrees. Before I start, all I want to do is a quick sketch. This doesn't have to be accurate, but it will give me some idea of the configuration of my triangle. So all I'm going to do is sketch a little triangle like so, and then label this up. So what we're going to have then is AB. Now I'm going to say that this is going to be AB down here. So this is angle A, this is angle B, and this is the length AB. I know that that is 8 centimetres, and this is angle C. So I've got now this 40 degree angle just here, and then I've got a 55 degree angle there. So let's go ahead and construct this triangle. So what I'm going to do down the bottom here is now get my ruler and draw the base, which is going to be 8 centimetres. So that's 8 centimetres, and that's going to give me now AB. I'm going to take the protractor now and move this into place. So I'm going to put it over here on the end, right on the end at A. I'm going to measure a 40 degree angle. So measuring on the inside with this protractor, I'm now going to have a point and that's going to be just here. So measuring up, that's going to be 40 degrees and that will be just there. There's always going to be a slight bit of human error when we do this, but ideally it should be pretty spot on. So what we're now going to do is put it this end and we're going to measure up now the 55 degree angle. So this time I'm going to measure round the outside and we will have now a 55 degree angle which will be give or take just there. So just marking that off there, let's mark that, there's 55 degrees. So let's go ahead now and construct this by adding the two missing side lengths. So what I'm going to do then is get the line and I'm going to connect this up. Again, when you get in there with your particular draw, uh, drawing, now you're going to get this very accurate. So what I'm going to have, and I'll just move this into place, is something that's going to look give or take like so. And then the next one I'm going to have, I'm going to pick up from this point right here and draw through here. So what we've got then, once it goes through those two points, we've now got an accurate diagram or construction to show the triangle. So what we've got then is A, this is going to be angle A, this is going to be B in capitals, and then we're going to have C just here. When you do these, leave the construction marks in. Now if you want to measure this angle here, you should see that they all equal up to 180. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and do it. So we constructed this triangle now, given one side length and two angles. So that's the first one done. Okay, let's look at another one. We're asked to construct triangle ABC in which AB is seven centimeters, AC is five centimeters, and the angle A is 35 degrees. So again, a little sketch here. And what I'm gonna have then is a base, and I'm gonna say that that is AB. I'm also going to have now AC, and that's going to be up here, and we're going to now have this angle right here of 35 degrees. So what we're going to have is something that looks give or take like so. So labelling up now, I can say that this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and then this is going to be C. We know that this is 5, we know this is 7, and we've got an angle of 35 degrees. Now I need to do a bit more work with this one. So what I'm going to do here is use the ruler. I'm going to measure out now a base of seven centimeters. So back again with the line, and this is going to now be seven centimeters, which is like so. I'm now going to consider this 35 degree angle, and I'm going to move the protractor into place, and then we're going to measure that up. So moving this up, what we're going to have is something that looks like so. So we're going to have now a 35 degree angle and that is going to be just here. So that's what I end up with and we'll have something like so. So that's my 35 degree angle. At this stage what I'm going to do is just move now the protractor out of the way 
and we're going to now let's just grab that let's put that back in place i don't want to move that i want to move the protractor that's what i want to move now i'm going to initially draw a line up and that line is going to be from the end point just here right the way through and we will move that into place so we know i've created this angle right here so that will look something like so so that's now my 35 degree angle I need to construct now this as a five centimeter line. So what I'm gonna do at this stage is bring now the compass over here. So I put the protractor down, I'm now gonna open this up. So this is now gonna be opened up to five centimeters. So let's get that, and yours will be slightly more accurate. I'm trying to do this now, let's just change that to a different color. I'm trying to make this look as realistic as possible, but there will always be some slight error. So what we're gonna do now is the following. I'm going to now move this into place, so let's do that, and then I'm just going to now draw a point here. Now, what I'm gonna do from here is move the compass away and connect up this line right here. So what we're gonna have from here now is the following. So right on the end just there, we're going to have now the line, and that's going to meet up at that point. Bang on that point gives me now C. So what I can do is label this up, and we'll go ahead and label it. This is going to be A, so we've got A just here. We've got now, and we'll just write that there, there's A. We've got B just here, and then we've got C. So this is going to be a 35 degree angle, which we have measured out. We've got now five centimeters and then down here let's just move the ruler out of the way let's pick that up and get shot of it uh, let's see if we can go and move that uh, so moving this out of the way we can just label this up you must leave your construction marks on and that's one way of doing this particular type okay let's do the final one so that's constructing a triangle given now these two lengths right here and the enclosed angle. Okay, let's look at the final one. We need to construct triangle ABC in which AB is equal to eight centimeters, AC is equal to 4.5 centimeters, and BC is equal to six centimeters. So again, a small sketch up here doesn't have to be massively accurate, but it'll give you some idea of what it looks like. So what we're gonna have is the following. So grabbing this up, I'm going to have my base as eight, and that's gonna be AB. We're going to have now the point C. We know that AC is 4.5. We know AB is going to be eight, and we know BC is going to be six. So taking AB to be my base, I'm simply now going to grab this up and we'll move this now into place like so. In fact, I'm just gonna make this slightly smaller um, such that I'm not stretching the, uh, the compass right the way out. So let's move this into place. So let's do that. Obviously, this scale doesn't mean an awful lot on the screen, but as you can see, these now are given to be centimetres. So what we're going to have then is a base, and this is going to be AB, and this is going to be now 8 centimetres, like so. So there's AB. I'm now going to take the compass and measure out 4.5 and then 6. So if I put this now in place, let's put that right on the end there. I'm going to open this up, and that's going to be 4.5. That looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna change that to make this stand out a little more. I'm going to move this now, and I'm going to create an arc. Now the arc, I can sweep out as much as possible. I certainly don't need it at this point, but I'm gonna move this into place and sweep now an arc. So that gives me my four and a half centimeter line, and I need to now put it right on the end. Again, your accuracy will be better. So what I'm gonna do is swing this arc right here. Now at this stage, I'm going to take this off the page and move it over here. But before I do that, I need to now create BC. So BC is going to be six centimeters. So I'll open that up like so. That gives me six centimeters. I'm going to move this into place. So if I put this over here right on the end and then switch this over. Now, if I just turn this round, let's turn that round. Let's see if we can get it moving round. Uh, there we go, that's what I wanna do. And then all I'm gonna do now is move this into place. So let's grab the tip and draw that. Now at this stage, I simply need to connect these up such that they meet at this point right here. So this is gonna be A, let's get that right on there, and it'll go through that point right there. And wherever these meet, we're going to now add 
this point here and then construct our triangle like so. Again, the level of accuracy is going to be compromised somewhat as a result of the computer, but that looks pretty good. So what we're going to have, let's move this out of the way. Uh, let's just grab that, that can go. Wherever those points intersect now gives us our triangle. You must leave the construction lines on. A, B, C. And if you wanted, you could measure the angles to now find them out from there. So this is 4.5 centimetres. This one is 8 centimetres. And then this one is 6 centimetres. And you have an accurate triangle. So there we go, three different types of construction and hopefully they've been helpful for you.